proposal almost went sideways. Dallas had planned to propose to me uh, Christmas Day night. And he came to see me in Pittsburgh. And because I had a roommate and he wanted it to be special, he's like, hey, it's the holidays. Like, let's go get a hotel room downtown. So far, you're okay with the plan. Oh, great with it. Fabulous. We check in. We get our keys at the front desk. The uh, guy's helping us up with our luggage. I put the key in the door, open the door, and there's music on in our room. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just dancing around thinking like maybe it's something fun for the holidays that they had to greet their guests with. And as I get farther in the room and it's late, I realize the bed is turned down and there's a teddy bear on the bed. That's also cute. Maybe you did some for for the holidays. I don't know. Right. You're not following. And as I start to survey the room, I realize that there are uh, beer bottles, empty beer bottles all under the coffee table. There's an empty shoe box. I look in the bathroom and there's beads of water on the shower. And I look at Dallas and I said, I think they double booked this room. <laughs> and he's like, no way. He's like, I specifically asked for this room. It's got a great view of the city. Like this is the room I like I booked. And I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe we should call down to the front desk. And at this point, the guy helping us, uh, us with our luggage is backing out of the room because he is like, he knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, okay, before we go downstairs and we try to figure this whole thing out, I at least want to see the view of the room because cl- so clearly there's somebody in here right. already. And I go to open the curtains and there is a pair of black polka dot panties flung in the corner. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> and I open the drapes and there is a butt mark and two handprints Holy up again. Against- <laughs> How? I cannot what make this up. What hotel was this? The no tell motel? <laughs> Clearly. But it's uh, like on the window. And I'm like, well, somebody's having a great night. I think this whole thing is hilarious because right. I have no idea that there's a proposal coming. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And so when did the proposal happen? Uh, he call, he didn't call it off, but he didn't do it that day because he was, he was like, I can't follow that. Like, right. that was a disaster. Right. So he did it like two days did later. Did you guys end up getting in a different room, obviously? Yeah. It, actually, the hotel was lovely about it because they knew he was going to propose. So because all that stuff happened, they put us in the penthouse, like the whole top floor. We had this like huge dining room, oh, two awesome. bedrooms. They How- sent a surf and turf at midnight. It was amazing. If they know that they are that he's proposing and they're all over how do they screw up that room like that so what they think happened is that somebody who worked for the hotel who was off that night but had key cards like to get in everywhere used the room thinking that it was not booked 